I am calling to tell you that I am getting a divorce. I was stunned. I'm stunned. I'm Taffy Brodesser Ackner. I'm the showrunner for Fleischman is in Trouble, and I wrote the novel upon which it's based. Toby was forced to ask the question that occurred to him nearly every few minutes since his separation. How did I get here? How did I become a divorced guy? I remember being told that it was a very niche book. I remember being told that the title was too specific and wouldn't help. I remember being told that my name was too long and that nobody would know how to ask for it. I never predicted anything like what happened for the book. I never predicted that I would be able to see someone read it on a subway, that somebody would recognize me for having written it. Do you understand how hurtful it is that this is what's important to you? You're screaming. I did not become a doctor to get rich, okay? I did it to live a meaningful life. Taffy's a really lauded, experienced writer, but she's primarily a journalist, and this is her first novel. In my journalism career, I wrote stories about a lot of big stars. My beat was the profile, and mostly profiles go to celebrities. She knows the story inside and out, which, like, for me is the most important thing in a writer. And so the fact that she not only wrote scripts, but wrote the book on which it's based is just endlessly helpful. To be a first-time novelist in your 40s and then a first-time showrunner, I mean, I'm all the time just so thankful to be in her wake. Yes, I am proud of you. Here's to late bloomers. Taffy is a genius. If the finished episodes are half as good as the scripts, then I think we've done a great job. Are you still going to therapy? No, the apps are like my therapy. It's interesting working with her because she's visited sets only while she was like doing profiles. So there was no like learning curve. You get to be my baby for four more months. Oh, what I love about Taffy is she's super funny. And also she worked at the New York Times, so she never leaves any discrepancy in the script. The sunset is so pretty, isn't it? You know, but you have to remember, sunsets are also problematic, you know, because they're only for the wealthy. In cities, there are tall buildings, so you can't see it. You know, you gotta come to a place like this just to catch a glimpse of what should be one of the true free pleasures in life, you know? She's just like the ideal creator. She's also incredibly collaborative. I was just so delighted that she was so aware enough by virtue of her knowing so much about the entertainment industry to know how the process works and to be so unbelievably smart to figure out the stuff that she didn't know right away. I'm sorry, you know, I thought it would be over and I, would, I wouldn't think about her anymore, but like my brain keeps remembering everything, like, like trying to determine if I could have seen this coming. I literally can't stop thinking about her. She's really unafraid to go to the crux of the thing and I really admire that. It's gonna be okay. Because I feel allowed to go in and play hard, because she writes hard. Enough about therapy, Toby. I don't need therapy. What I need is help with this baby. Here I am. I wrote this book, and I just ended up sitting in this director's chair, surrounded by 150 of the greatest people who are making a show that I don't even feel I deserve. I'm nostalgic for this moment already. It's a dream.